Hi everyone, good lovely morning. It is me, Jasmine. How are you guys doing? So I am back. I am back here at the Oregon coast and it is an incredibly beautiful day today. So I'm gonna be spending the whole day here uh, between um, Port Orford and Pistol River. And I timed my, um, my trip here to coincide with the low tide. This is a place that you definitely want to visit during low tide. Take it from me. So um, I'm going to be again. I'm going to be spending the whole day here. I brought I brought lunch. I brought uh, so we're going to have a, a picnic as well. And I'm going to be doing a vlog video, walking up and down the beach, enjoying the scenery. I wish you guys were here with me. Listen, if you have never been, if you have never visited, if you've never uh, toured the Oregon coast up and down you owe it to yourself. It is incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Not a lot of people out today. Let me just do a quick 360. Not a lot of people out today. Barely anyone out. Yes, yeah, so it is an incredibly beautiful day. I brought picnic food. We're gonna be spending the whole day out here enjoying this absolutely magnificent coast. All right, hang tight. All right, I'm back. Oh, it is so nice outside. Nice and sunny. Just a tad chilly, which is of course typical of the Pacific Northwest coast. I so wish you guys were here with me right now. Barely anyone out. The perfect spot to spend a nice sunny day. Oh, it is so nice outside. I wish you guys were with me right here, right now. So if you guys ever find yourself in the city of Portland, um, you're gonna be tempted. And of course, folks are gonna recommend and, and you're gonna read about, you're gonna uh, see literature that basically recommend the Haystack Rock which is uh, by Cannon Beach and also just a quick drive from uh, the Portland metro area. But folks, if you have extra free time, if you're gonna be in the Portland area for, for a few days uh, or a week, um, the drive down here to the uh, Port Orford 
and further down to uh, Pistol River and uh, Brookings. The drive down here is definitely worth it. So the Haystack Rock is pretty popular. The Haystack Rock further up north by uh, Cannon Beach. It's pretty popular and I think it's because of, um, I think it's uh, mainly due to its, its uh, proximity, its um, location. It's, it's just a quick drive from Portland. So, you know, a lot of people just make a quick drive to go there and take some photos and do touristy stuff. But in my opinion, the, uh, the coastal rocks, uh, the rock formations by, by or uh, Port Orford all the way down to the Brookings area, put the Haystack rock to shame. Now they, they are, where I'm at now, it's a little bit, it's, 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 it's going to be a whole day event. <laughs> it's a bit of a drive from Portland, Oregon. And so I guess that's why it's, I mean, it's just barely anyone out, but I'm willing to wager up in uh, Haystack Rock right now, it's, it's uh, bustling and teeming with tourists. So it's a bit of a drive down here, but it is definitely worth it. And, and you most definitely want to time yourself for the low tide, like what I did today. So I definitely recommend you make the drive down uh, to Port Orford and then spend the whole day between Port Orford and Brookings. Oh, it is so beautiful. Now, if you only have, if you just, if you have a short you know, amount of time and the Haystack Rock by Cannon Beach is all you could do, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I would say go for that, but if you have free time, I urge you, I beseech you, it is incumbent upon you, I implore you to come visit the rock formations further south. Hey guys, just look at that view. So I'm standing on top of this small rock right here. Just look at that beautiful view.
All right, so I'm gonna head back to my car and drive up a little bit to a different point. Now you're probably wondering, gee, Jasmine, it's such a nice day and the water looks inviting. Why don't you go swim? <laughs> Why don't I go swim? Well, let me tell you why. Here in the Pacific Northwest, our water comes from the north, which is very, very cold water. And it's cold year round. So, to really, really enjoy the water, to enjoy a nice day out at the, uh, the water, you need some sort of a, a dry suit. Otherwise, you would be freezing in a matter of minutes. You would just, it would be a very unpleasant. You would be trembling and all that. I mean, even when I got my uh, feet wet, it's really, really cold. My toes were freezing. Now, the good thing about that cold water is that cold water cools the air and cool air does not carry humidity very well so it makes for very 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 pleasant days pleasant summers i'm outside right now and i've been walking up and down and i don't even have a single drop of sweat like if you live in the east coast where you get that warm water from the south and you and you are used to that torturous humidity when you come here to the pacific northwest the first thing you're going to notice is there's no humidity barely any humidity so that's the good thing about that cold water is it cools the air and cold air or cool air does not carry humidity very well so humidity is almost a foreign concept in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, you can still sweat if you really, really get to work. And, but if you're just walking casually, just out and about casually, I mean, I've been walking up and down and I don't even have a, a bead of sweat. The, the downside to that cold water is, well, you don't see a lot of people out and out swimming, do you? That's the only down, that's the downside to that cold water is, you know, it's just not the kind of water that, you know, you find inviting. It's not the kind of water that you want to run into in a swimsuit because it's too cold. So there's somebody flying a drone and they flew past me and for a, for a, a fleeting moment, I thought I had a bee right next to my ear. I, it really, really startled me. I was, I, you know, I, I have been thinking about that, getting a drone. But maybe at some point I will, but right now I just don't have that. I don't feel that burning desire to get one. All right, hang tight.
Hi guys, so I'm here at the Sisters Rock and we're gonna go on a nice short hike. They're right there. Yes, we're gonna go on a lovely short hike. So I switched my, my flip-flops for my hiking shoes. Let me switch the camera. Look at that. Look at that view. So we're gonna do this short hike. Then I'm gonna have myself a nice lunch. I brought some picnic food. It is an incredibly, incredibly gorgeous sunny day today here in the Pacific Northwest. Guys, just look at that view. Look at that spectacular view. Amazing. Now, if you're passing by this area, you may be tempted to just pull over uh, the shoulder and take a quick photo but if you have uh, good shoes on you don't have to be um, hiking shoes if you have good shoes on I recommend enjoy a quick hike to the sisters rock let me show you that view again Let's look at that. Hey, it's me. Let's look at that view. This is why 
I am spending the whole day out here. The Oregon coast has a very special place in my heart. It is so nice out here. Look at that view as well. You guys hear the birds? Wow, just look at that view. Let's hike up this little hill right here. There are folks fishing down there. Do you see them? I wonder if they've caught anything. Those two. I wonder if they've caught anything.
All right, let's head back. It's just a short hike. So if you ever find yourself in the area, more specifically, the Sisters Rock uh, attraction point, you must definitely have to enjoy a quick hike. Now there are, um, there, at, at some points of the trail, um, you will walk over loose rocks. So if you do have hiking shoes, um, I recommend just, just bring, bring them along for the road trip. Just look at that view. Cannot beat it. Absolutely breathtaking. Imagine hiking this every day as a part of your daily exercise routine. Just look at that view, guys. Thank you. 
All right, everyone, so that's that for this vlog video from the absolutely breathtaking Oregon coast. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not, and I will see you in the next upload. All right, take care. Bye-bye.